Hi everyone, this is day three of Advent of Code. Let's see what it's about. We start the timer. And let's go read the task. Okay, so um pom, 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 okay, it's it sounds hard. So it's very large square, thousand inches. A shelf has made a claim about which area of fabric would be ideal for center street. All claims have an ID and consist of a single rectangle with edges parallel to the edges of the fabric. Each claims rectangle is defined as follows. The number of inches between the left edge of the fabric and the left edge of the rectangle, the number between the top edge and the top edge of the rectangle, the width of, width of the rectangle and inches, the height of the rectangle and each claim like this means the claim ID is one to three, specifies rectangle, three inches from the left, two inches from the top, five inches wide and four inches tall. Visually it claims the square inches of fabric represented by hashtag and ignores the square inches of fabric represented by dot in the diagram below. Okay, so, okay, yeah, that makes sense. The problem is that many of the claims overlap, causing two or more claims to cover part of the same areas. For example, consider the following claims. Visually this claims the following areas. The one, the two, and the three. Okay, the four square inches marked with X are claimed by both one and two. Claim three, while adjacent to the others, does not overlap either of them. If the elves all proceed with their own plans, none of them will have enough fabric. How many square inches of fabric are within two or more claims? Okay, so hmm, let's look at the puzzle input. Is it actually a thousand? Like, okay, let's start. Okay, <laughs> the simplest way to start is to start with, okay, so it took me two minutes just to read the task. Um, let's start just parsing this, right? So we want to parse that. Um, and basically, so string like that, let define a function like parse line that will take something like that. And basically, um, we would need like ID, left, top, width, okay, I will use and high uh, and we will write on regex right because what, what else so basically like that add symbols hd plus comma hd plus d plus x plus. So these are groups we are interested in. Group one, the group two, the group three, the group four, and the group five. All right. So and we probably would be interested in okay, let, let me just return. Uh, top okay let, let just um i will just return coordinates okay so left top and we probably need um left plus this and right uh, and top plus height something like that okay let's see it doesn't work okay um why does it work on number of arguments oh because i didn't pass yeah of course i need to pass line here uh, now string can be cast to number string can be cast. okay because obviously because those are um, Ok, 
Z and I don't know if we, do, we probably don't need to parse. We'll just do that. Okay. Okay. And the same, but for top and high, right? Something like that. Okay, so we have our ID, we have left coordinate, uh, top coordinate, bottom coordinate, and okay. So let's do let's do this. Okay, let's let's define lines as uh, I probably should put that in. This tab as well. So lines is this. Oh. Okay, lines is this, and uh, rects is basically map v of lines of parse line over lines. And um, yeah, so it, it, this worked, right? It worked. Okay, so I, what I what I'm curious of is basically reduce. Okay, so basically, yeah, reduce max of Well, we, we can we can actually just use the, the trivial closure closure code to just simply let's say we have a map of all coordinates, right? So basically, let's go over each rectangle, and so basically this would be probably reduce over a rectangle over all rectangles. We'll start with empty map. And what we will do is this. Uh, so basically we have map and rectangle here. And we will huh. Okay, so yeah, uh, here will be ID left top is height, right? We probably don't need ID. So what I want to do is go over. Okay, yeah, yeah, basically, um, merge with plus. Um, So let's define rect to map, right? So we basically left top is right. Uh, so basically it will be into map. Uh, so basic uh, for comprehension. X goes from L to as uh, this is X zero, Y zero, X one, one so range X zero, X one, right? Y will go from Y zero to Y one, and we will basically have a map that maps uh, coordinates to the number one, right? So what this function does, let me show you. So what I hope it does, 
uh, id would be zero. So if we have a rectangle from five, five to seven to eight, seven, for example, it will just produce something like that. Okay. Um, why would I need that? All right. Um, it's it's actually we would we would utilize uh, the merge with function, which is merge with plus, and let me check. Yeah, it accepts apply merge with plus, and we would actually map every rectangle that we have. And we would have enormous map, hopefully. Yeah, with this many points. So basically it, it contains coordinates to the number of times it was claimed, it is claimed. So basically what I need to do right now is just take take it. Um, filtered, right? So value is bigger than one and counted. And ninety-seven to one eight. And that's the right answer. Whew. Okay. Uh, that's that's lucky actually it took uh, 11 minutes for me to understand it but anyways uh, Mr. Chaos you notice that exactly one claim doesn't overlap by even a single square inch of fabric with any other claim if you can somehow draw attention it maybe they also be able to make sense to it after all for example the claims above all claim 3 is intact after all claims are made Exactly one claim doesn't overlap by even a single square inch of fabric with any other claim. Um, okay, this task is different, I guess, because I didn't draw any overlapping code. But if we will try, okay, let me check how many actual rectangles do we have. We have a thousand of rectangles. Okay, so basically, we need to find uh, rectangles that doesn't overlap with any other, right? So, uh, let's see if overlap happens. It means that how do I figure that two rectangles overlap? So I, I, I figure they do not overlap. If one of four conditions held. Okay, so um, I'm not actually sure, but let me Okay, so x x1 1 <laughs> uh, y1 Okay, x1 1 y1 1 x1 to y1 2 and x to 1 y to 1 x to 2 y to 2 like something like that okay if i am correct if i'm correct the two do not overlap if the second one is 
completely on the one side of the first one. So it means either um, the left side of the second one is bigger or equals. Uh, the left side of uh, second one is on the right of the right side of the first one or uh, the right side of the second one is on the left of the first one and same applies for y So if either of these conditions is held, the two rectangles cannot overlap, right? If none of them is held, they probably would overlap. I hope so. Okay, let's 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 just check this, right? So it's it's really simple, right? So basically we go over R1, which is basically any rectangle here. And we go over R2, which also is any rectangle here. And we can actually simplify that, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, when, when overlap R1 and R2, we would want, want to know the RD IDs. Okay, when they overlap. No, uh, well, this is this is not correct. Right? Uh, for any rectangle, if is there a non, not any, not any overlap is R one. I'll just return us R1. Right? Huh, empty. Okay. <laughs> there is no such rectangle. Um, this is strange. This is strange. This is really strange y to one is bigger than y one two y two two is lesser than y okay so uh, yeah so this is this is strange and input didn't change right Yeah, this returns like everything. Okay, let's maybe I should use not every. No, it's still it's still empty. Okay, so okay, this is strange. Maybe I I I am incorrect in my overlapping theory, right? But uh, let me check again. So we parse the line. The input didn't change. Hasn't changed. Okay. Uh, the input is this. We return the left side. Left side was this. So the x1 is excluded, right? So if the width is 1, it will be plus 1, but it means that plus 1 isn't covered, I guess. At least rectangle parsing 
appears to be correct because we, we get the first part correct, right? So the second one is somehow not correct. Maybe no, it's still x y x y. Huh. And we skip ID, right? Um. Hmm. Okay, so this is condition of do not overlap. If this is called, they don't overlap. <laughs> um, so basically. It didn't help. So if this holds true, if either of these conditions holds true, they are for sure do not overlap, right? And we need to find a rectangle for which it is true for every other rectangle they, they, that they do not overlap. And it's still empty. Okay, so let's start thinking. Um, um, according to reason, tackle trunk cleaners has are made. So basically, five to two, okay, right? Seven. Um, what's the idea of the claims and doesn't overlap? Don't. Let's let's name it doesn't. Grammatically more correct. Okay, so now, uh, now we're stuck. Now we're stuck. So basically, let me check if we still have the correct amount of rectangles. I'm sure it makes a difference. It doesn't for each rectangle and rectangles when it doesn't overlap this every other rectangle, right? Return it. Return it. Return it. Return it. Return it. What the fuck is wrong? Let's look at inputs. Maybe I will figure something out. We have this, it appears that we have the correct number of rectangles, at least. All right. Um, the first part was correct. The second part isn't. Are there any other possibilities when those two 
do not overlap. So, so, so my hypothesis was like, if if two rectangles do not overlap, then one of them must be completely on one side of the other one, right? It seems to be true. It seems to be true. So I'm missing something. And I'm missing something. So let's um, let's do this. Uh, how many let's print This shouldn't be that big. And if you look at the output, we'll see. So it's basically how many overlaps each, each one of them has. And well, <laughs> it looks OK, right? So. Oh, 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 OK. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> um, uh, every rectangle overlaps with itself. So, so it should exclude itself. Obviously, oh, I'm so stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, yeah, that's the right answer. Okay, that's it. That's it. I feel so stupid. So it took me 15 minutes to figure this out, which is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, let's let's clean up code a little bit. So for most of it, it's pretty neat. Basically, the part, let's just do that. All right. Part one, the part two, and um, so the part two, this one returns us Yeah, I'm committed and uh, I'm so stupid, but that's part of the job. Yeah, usually writing code is simple, but then catching some stupid bug is hard. Okay, uh, that's it. Join me for the rest of the advent of code.